Hey guys, my name is Ben Ferriel and I am back. I uh, wasn't really going to do a video about this, but I found something. Today we have an earthquake swarm at Yellowstone National Park. And so I'm going to use three of the seismographs to show you the data. I'm going to use YML, YLT, and H17A. Let's go to waves real quick. Let me, zoom. let me set this as the P wave real quick. Here's one of the earthquakes in the swarm. Let me set the P wave there. Let me zoom out. And here's the plot for the current earthquake swarm. You see multiple ones. About 32,150 is the maximum amplitude count. So I'm going to say the largest earthquake of this event so far could still be occurring. But so far is, I'm going to say maybe a magnitude 1.8 to 2.0. So keep an eye out for that. Um, let me zoom in. I just want to show you this real quick. Here's one of the earthquakes in the swarm. You can see the P wave starts first at YLT. So that means whatever happened occurred right at YLT. So I'm thinking that this earthquake swarm is occurring around the same area that the July 5th earthquake swarm occurred as well. And it is somewhat of a rapid succession swarm. Look at some of these quakes. Look at that. Do you see that? My goodness. Those are very rapid succession. Let me turn on the waveforms real quick. I've been looking in this swarm so far, I've been looking for any low frequency events indicative of magmatic resonance. I do not see any. Not saying it's not caused by magma, but I'm pretty sure it is. It could be. You never know. But, you know, even hydrothermal activity can cause earthquake swarms, I am saying. But I am thinking this is being caused by magma due to the rapid occurrence. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Just the way it acts, the way... The seismic swarm flows. Let's look at this real quick right here. Let's check the frequency. That has a mid-range frequency. So I do not see any low frequency events really. A bunch of mid-range frequency events actually. About 15 hertz is the max. 15 to 20. So it's I don't see any low frequency events so far. But it is pretty interesting how rapid succession they are. Let's zoom in on this real quick. Actually wait I want to see this earthquake. This one is very interesting. I'm thinking the largest one right here, that this earthquake right here, seems to have multiple quote-unquote aftershocks right after it. Well, those aren't really aftershocks because usually aftershocks, usually there's a main shock. And that's an electronic issue right there, by the way. But usually there, uh, whenever there's aftershocks, there's a main shock. A large earthquake with a bunch of smaller ones, you know, kind of increasing, decreasing. But these, we see it's a swarm because it starts out, let's see, where's the first earthquake in this sequence? Let's try to find it. You can see that, oh, what's that? You can see a few events here before it started. Interesting. Let's find the first earthquake in the swarm, which I believe was this right here. Maximum amplitude count of, let's see, about 2,400, so very tiny. And let's check this one. So we do have an earthquake swarm going on at Yellowstone with some of them occurring in rapid succession meaning something is breaking away down there very quickly because usually at fault zones when something slips usually slip does not occur with like every 10 seconds or so usually it's a little longer than that so i'm thinking something beneath the ground near ylt west thumb of yellowstone lake is breaking away the rock some something down there i do not see any magmatic resonance as of right now but we will definitely keep a very very close eye on this and here's this on H17A right here. You can see it here as well. And let me go, I just want to say again, here is the P wave to one of the earthquakes. You can see this earthquake swarm definitely occurred at West Thumb. This is the third rapid succession earthquake event since July 5th. We have three events on July 5th, and then one I did a video on a few days ago, I believe. And then now we have this one. So, can anyone tell me what is going on at West Thumb? I have a question. If anybody sees this video and they have been to Yellowstone in the past day or so, or is even there right now, can you please go to West Thumb right now? Here, let me show you real quick. Let me show you. Here we go. I'm just going to use this real quick. See, here's Seismic Station YLT right here. The July 5th earthquake swarm, which I personally believe is magma intrusion, occurred right here. And the edge of the magma chamber is right about here. So I'm thinking this earthquake swarm is occurring in this area somewhere. Possibly even under West Thumb itself. Now, if anybody is there right now, can you please go to Highway 20. Go around and find this area right here at West Thumb. And there are actually some geysers near West Thumb. I don't know the exact location. 
But if anybody sees any activity or hears of anything or smells any rotten egg smells, which would be sulfur dioxide, please let me know. I'm pretty excited because Yellowstone has been sort of boring the past few days, so finally we have some activity. So please let me know if you discovered anything. And again, here's waves. Let's zoom out real quick. Uh, yeah, very rapid succession. These right here, you can see there are multiple. Let's zoom in real quick. Here's another event right here. There's another earthquake. You can see this occurred on YLT first. Let's go forward a little bit. Yep, you can definitely tell it occurred right near YLT, most likely right under the seismic station. I would not be surprised. So I will definitely do another video about this very soon. So please keep an eye out for that as well. And so this is happening right now. So this is just coming in right now, folks. So it could it could stop. It could be stopping or it could be increasing as well. But we are seeing another earthquake swarm event. Another rapid succession event too. Not as closely spaced as the July 5th, 2018 event. But you could definitely see these are very closely spaced right here. Meaning something underground is breaking away the rock. Now you don't have to see magmatic resonance for it to be caused by magma. I mean, if it's deep enough, it could just be breaking away the rocks and, you know, nothing much will come of it. Magmatic resonance, on the other hand, that's the magma flowing through possibly a tube or a crack or a fissure, reverberating through the open spaces and the cracks reaching towards the surface. That is what we actually saw in the 2008-2009 Yellowstone Lake earthquake swarm, which was confirmed to most likely be a dike intrusion of magma. So no magmatic resonance as of yet, but we do have an earthquake swarm. We will keep a very close eye on this. Please let me know if you have any additional information as well. Let's see what this is. Hey, that's at a low frequency. Let's check this out real quick. That's interesting, huh? Yeah, Spectra says it's about between, yeah, around two, peaks around two hertz. So that's very interesting, guys. So we will keep a very close eye on this. Please let me know what you think below, and I suggest you keep an eye on this as well. It is best to probably use drama size and swarm and waves if you would like. Let's zoom all the way out. Let's see. Yeah, the maximum amplitude count, 32,770. So I'm going to say probably the largest earthquake in this event was a magnitude 1.8 to 2.0, I'm going to say. So it does appear there could be more earthquake swarms on the way, more earthquakes. So please keep an eye out for that and keep an eye on the geysers guys if you have any information again on uh, the west thumb geysers have they dried up are they being more active i've been trying to find information on those geysers for a long time in complete silence you know i'd go visit the area if i could but i live in washington state someday i'm going to visit that area but you know so that is all i have for you right now if activity increases i will do another video either tonight or tomorrow morning but if it just stays like this i will do another video on this probably in the next two or three days three days maximum Thank you guys. God bless. Remember the truth is hate or fear to those who hate or fear the truth.